Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see what are the Informatica MDM user exists. So specifically in today's session, we will we will see uh, with the Informatica MDM 10 related user exists. So let's have a detailed discussion on this Informatica MDM. So what are the prerequisites for the info user exists? If you are going to implement, we should have uh, the minimum prerequisites. The first thing it is required is that Informatica MDM knowledge. So those who have the basic knowledge of, of Informatica MDM, they can easily develop this MDM user exists. Then you should have the basic knowledge of the core Java, including OOPS concept, for exception handling, and if you have the multi-threading and other I/O related option, it is a better. The next thing it is required application server knowledge. Like if you know the JBoss, WebLogic, or WebSphere, or a or Apache Tomcat application server, then it is it is one of the basic requirement for this implementation of the user exit. So let's discuss little little more about the user exit. What is the user exit? A user exit is a custom Java code that you and we actually develop and run at specific point in a batch or any services integration framework API processes. So there are batch processes and there are SIP API processes. So we can execute this user custom code or rather than a user exit at a particular point of time when the any process is going on. So this is nothing but it is help us to extend the functionality of Informatic MDM hub. So if you want to customize or if you want to implement any business specific scenario, it is the user exit. User exit is required to customize the MDM hub. So the, the user exit also can be used the IDD that is Informatica data director. But in today's session, we will see the all the user exit related to the Informatica MDM hub. So these are the guidelines which are provided by the Informatica. Okay, so for each process like the state process, load process, match process, unmerge, match. So there are various processes involved in the Informatica MDM. So each, each at each process, which user exit has to be used. So those guidelines are already provided by Informatica. Let's see the first stage process. So in the stage process, we have three basic user exits. So the first is post landing user exit. It is, this is rec recommendation or the guideline provided by Informatica that if you are going to implement the post landing user exit, use the post landing user exit only when if you are going to redefine the data in the landing table. So in the landing table, we will get the data from the web service or through the ETL process or any other mechanism. So in order to redefine the data in the landing table, post landing user exit will be used. Priest, the, neck, the second stage process user exit is pre-stage user exit. Use our pre-stage user exit to perform custom handling of the delta process. So as we know, in real-time application, we use the delta detection. So if you, if you want to handle some custom delta detection process, so use a pre-stage user exit. Then we have the post-stage user exit. Use a post-stage user exit to pop up cluster processing at the end of stage job. So you know, the jobs are running, runs and ends. So before run, before the actual staging table getting populated, we have to implement this pre-stage so that delta process can be happen properly. The next, at the end of the stage process, if you want to perform some business related activities or business related requirements, then go ahead and implement the post stage user exit at the end of the, which will run at the end of the stage job. The next process is nothing but the load process. So during the load process, we have only one user exit and that is nothing but the post load user exit. So we don't require preload user exit because the post stage job already is taken care of the whatever happened before the load job, load process. 
So post load pro process user exit is used to perform the custom processing after the load process. The example is, for example, if you want to change the consolidation indicator of the record from one to four, this is one of the business requirement. So we can do this using the post load user exit. Match the next process is match process. So there are two user exits involved for the match process. First is pre-match user exit and the next is post-match user exit. Pre-match user exit is used to perform custom processing before any match process. So if you have the match process requirement like the if you want to implement some custom validation so you can use a pre-match process. Pre-match user exit. The next that is post match user exit. Use a post match user exit to perform custom processing at the end of the match match process. So if you want to do any activity like the if you want to change the atom merge indicator to one or zero, so you can do that during the post match user exit. So like the if you want to change particular match match record to be go for the post to be go for the manual queue or for the auto auto merge queue then you can implement the post match user exit. these are the this is this is the one of the business scenario then the next we have the merge process so merge process means combining or allowing multiple records to merge into one depending on the trust score use of post merge user exit to perform custom processing after the merge process for example if you want to push some record like there if there are two records which is get merged the winner record will be in the base object and the cross reference record will go into the cross reference table if you want to that the cross reference record to be pushed some downward down push need to be sent to the downstream system or any other table then you can implement the merge process on the same line unmerge process has the two user exit pre unmerge user exit and post unmerge user exit you can implement those as per your business needs so let's see what are the actual user exits so here we will have the broad view with at what are the uh, user exit at what process will be so this is the FEMS diagram everyone know about this so we have the stage process load process then the, we have the match merge and the unmerge process this is a very um, simple and easy to understand diagram which is provided by the Informatica so where the user exit presents? The first user exit that is nothing but stage process user exit. So as we discussed, there are three user exit: post landing, pre stage, and the post stage. Then the next two uh, next user exit nothing but the load process user exit. We know that post load is one of the post po uh, load process user exit. Then we have the match process user exit and then the merge process, the manual merge and the atom merge user exits. And the final we have the unmerge process user exit. So let's see those all those in a single view. So these are the stage process stage process user exit, like post landing user exit, pre-stage user exit, post-stage user exit load process have only one that is post load user exit match process user exits are there are two pre match and the post match user exit merge process had a only one that is post merge user exit unmerge have the two user exit that is pre unmerge and the post unmerge user exit there are some other user user exits are also there like the task management user exit and the assign task user exit interface. So these are the couple of the user exit provided by the Informatica in order to extend or to implement the business requirement. The dependencies. 
So below are the jars required in order to implement the user exit. First jar is MDM UE jar, then the Cyperin API jar and next is Cyperin common jar. Along with that, if you are going to implement the logging framework, you need the log4j. Then if you are using the if you are not using any J2E container, then J2E J2E jar is required. So there are some other uh, jars which will be bundled with the resource kit. So you though all those jars will be present if you install the resource kit. Let's see one of the important class in the user access. Like the we have the name of the class called as user exit context and it has several parameter. The first parameter is nothing but bad job row ID. What bad before understanding all those parameters we should know what is user exit context. So every application runs in the in its own context like the if it is a J2E application then we have the J, J2E container where the application runs and we get the that container context. If it is EGB then we have the EGB context. So on the same line user exit also have the user exit context which will provide the environment related properties to us in order to use in our custom implementation. So user exit context is one of the important class which will be used many times in our application. It provides various attributes and one of the attributes is nothing but badge of row ID. It provides the job ID for the particular batch. If you are running stage job or load job, it has some ID which is stored in the database. So that ID is re returned by this batch job row ID. Then we have the connection. In order to get to the connection to the MDM database, so connection fill connection object is returned by this user exit context context. Staging table name. So this uh, staging table name is also provided by the user exit context. Then the base object table. So so it is provided by the table name, the name of table that MDM process. Like the, if you are running load job and the on the party table the table name will be nothing but the party table name so these are the different parameters written by the user exit so so far we have seen what is the user exit what are the different uh, processes where the user exits will be implemented how many i mean for the each process how many uh, user exits are there we already seen we have saw uh, we just saw that user exit context class which provide the various environment related properties while using in a custom code so this is for a brief introduction to the user exit in upcoming sessions we will see the user exit one by one with implementation and the demo using mdm hub thank you for watching the video if you like the video, please hit the like button. Thank you.